Welcome back everyone. Today we're taking a look at the homework assignment that Draconius had suggested people try to help familiarize them with the completed voxel board tool set. Okay, so uh, before I, we go right into this workshop here, the homework lesson from our last uh, uh, work board lesson, uh, I want to just go over quickly again about the voxel. I created this little demo here. This is a blown up view of our default voxel coming into the game. This is the way in your mind you should be looking at it right away is with the corners, that's those green dots there would be the voxels and the blue lines are connecting them. That's your vector. And then the empty space is where we would fill in a material and um, color that in. But the wireframe is like this. And I'm just going to add some here so you can see how it's built in the game. So before we even start messing with it, we have a nice wireframe in the game like this. And what we'll be doing is filling in those locations and changing the locations of those green voxels that you see there. Those lines will just always follow where we position those voxels. And like for a typical reactor, I'll place one here. This is what a reactor looks like in the wireframe without any material fill. So there's the middle one with the top four, and there's the bottom four, just like that. So that's what you'd see as a wireframe without it filled with any materials. And you can see how many voxels it takes to make that up. And where they're connected and share points as well, because the center, as you notice, share the same voxel locations as those outside ones. Okay, so, uh, so one of the assignments for homework was to take your basic board and create some shape boards or go in further the, the, the set themselves because you can use your fine smoothing to make even more smaller increments of these pieces. What I'm going to do is we're going to go quickly make another shape board to add to this one. So what I'm going to do is copy this and we'll just go over to another workspace here just to keep that one out of the way and easier to film. And I'm going to paste a copy of it over here. And a quick way to make a whole new shape board out of this one here and keeping our scales, I'm just going to go grab piece number one on the bottom row, the furthest one to the right. I'm going to copy it. Stand out of the way here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and paste it above each of the, the sets, above each of the pieces. And I'm going to negative paste and that's holding down the F key or go into your tweak mode and use remove voxels and just run that piece right across each one of your other voxels that you have in the set changing the shape but still keeping them as the single voxel As you can see, I made a full set of those spikes there from the largest to the smallest on just the basic set. Now what we're going to do is go up to the align set. I'll just get one back up here and we'll do it here as well. And then we'll go up to the very top stretched row as well and do it up there. Oh, I forgot one down below. And there we go, a quick way to make a, 
a quick set of shapes, all following the same rules as we used to make the basic board. And we ran one piece through all of them. So you can imagine if you take any other piece and do the same thing, you're going to come up with different outcomes of shapes. So depending on what you need or what you desire for your builds, this will be a, a good way to go about it. What I would do here is copy that over to your board, and it's a new piece now to add to your board. And you can build your board up with all the shapes that then you like the most, or you use the most in your builds. So I hope that helped for your homework. Uh, this is what we're after, and I uh, look forward to showing you some more lessons about how we can further this board into some of the other unique shapes in the game, utilizing the roaming and inverted boxes, but we'll get to that later. That wraps up the homework assignment segment. We hope you've had the opportunity to experiment with your voxel board. Make sure you're following us on Twitter and check the published section below for times when you can catch Draconius on Twitch TV. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, be sure you give it a like and subscribe for future Landmark News.